Nightmare Kids! We're spending a few months finding out the answer to this question, who is God? And today we are going to learn that God is our friend. I have Buzz here with me today. He is an excellent friend. Unfortunately, Woody couldn't be here, but Buzz is going to help us out with our lesson today. Our Bible story today is actually a song, kind of like the one that Buzz and Woody sing to each other. You know, you've got a friend in me, that one. Now, we don't know the tune of this song that we're talking about today, so we're just going to read the words. But it's a song written by a guy named David, and he showed how God is our friend. David's song is a part of the Bible. The Bible is God's special book. We can find out so many things about our friend, God, when we read the Bible. Let's check it out. But first, we'll talk with our friend, God. God, thank you for being our friend. You are so many things to us. You are our Savior. You are our Lord. And it's so amazing that we also get to call you friend. Someone that, you, that we can talk to. Somebody who sticks by us. Show us, God, how we can also be a really good friend back to you. Amen. So today we're talking about how God is our friend, and we're going to create two imaginary friends. I've got some clothes here, and so we got a t-shirt. We're just going to lay them out here. Imagine that they have beautiful faces. Okay, and some socks. We always need socks. Where's the underwear? I don't know, but they've got socks and a shirt. Okay, so these two pretend kids right here, this one is going to be a really good friend. And this one is going to be our God friend. So we're going to take a look at this one first, and we are going to think of really good qualities that make up a good friend. So, hmm, well, I love it when my friends are Kind. Kindness is so important in friendships. We'll just put that right there on our good friend. Mm. <laughs> yes, I love having funny friends. My friends are hilarious. That's another good one. How about friends that are helpful? Yes. We can get into all kinds of sticky situations, and it's amazing when we've got friends who can help us get out of them. Oh, yeah. Have you ever had a friend that stands up for you? That is a true special gem. I got one. Loyal. Do you know what loyal means? That means somebody who sticks with you no matter what, through the good times and the bad times. Oh yeah, okay. Good listener. Good listening friends are amazing, especially when you just need somebody to talk to. Good listeners don't use their words and run all over you, they give you time and space to hear what you have to say. Okay, last one. Another really great thing is when friends are encouraging. So why do you think that we look for these qualities in a friend? Because we're learning that God is our friend, but does he show those qualities? Well, let's see how David from the Bible described God. I'm going to read a verse, and then we'll see if there are any qualities in that verse that we could put on a card to put on our God person right here. Psalm 25, 1 through 3. Oh Lord, I give my life to you. I trust in you, my God. Do not let me be disgraced or let my enemies rejoice in my defeat. No one who trusts in you will ever be disgraced. But disgrace comes to those who try to deceive others. Trustworthy. God is so trustworthy. No matter what, we can depend on him. 
Psalm 25, 4 through 5. Show me the right path, O Lord. Point out the road for me to follow. Lead me by your truth and teach me. For you are the God who saves me. All day long I put my hope in you. God gives really good advice. It's not just advice. God wrote the book on how we should live our lives and gives us examples and instructions on the best way to live and the best way to be. Psalm 25, 6. Remember, O Lord, your compassion and unfailing love, which you have shown from long ages past. God loves you. It's so true. And God even loves you so much that he sent his son Jesus to die for you. I can't think of any better act of friendship than somebody who loves you so much they're willing to risk their life for you. Psalm 25, 7. Do not remember the rebellious sins of my youth. Remember me in the light of your unfailing love, for you are merciful, O Lord. Forgives you. God will forgive you every time. I don't know if you've ever had a friend that has forgiven you when you mess up, but I know I have. And when I go and apologize to them and when those friends have forgiven me, it is an amazing gift. God's forgiveness is also an amazing gift. Psalm 25, eight through 10. The Lord is good and does what is right. He shows the proper path to those who go astray. He leads the humble in doing right, teaching them his way. The Lord leads with unfailing love and faithfulness all who keep his covenant and obey his commands. God helps you to make the right choices. His Holy Spirit can help us when we don't know what to do. We can ask the Holy Spirit to guide us and to give us wisdom, and we can make the right choice. Psalm 25, 15-22 my eyes are ever on the Lord, for only he will release my feet from the snare. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart and free me from my anguish. Look on my affliction and my distress and take away all my sins. See how numerous are my enemies and how fiercely they hate me? Guard my life and rescue me. Do not let me be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. May integrity and uprightness protect me, because my hope, Lord, is in you. Deliver Israel, O God, from all their troubles. God helps us when we're in trouble. And besides all of the qualities that we noticed in the psalm, what other qualities do you think that we could move from just our good friend over here to the God friend. Hmm. All of them. That's right. God even has a sense of humor. God is our friend and he's better than any human friend we could ever have. He will never stop loving us and he's with us all the time. Sometimes your human friends aren't available when you need them or right now maybe you can't hang out with your friends because of COVID-19 but God is always there for you. Hi, I'm Renee and I'm 10 years old. Hi, I'm Alina and I'm 11 years old. Renee and Alina are great friends and they live in the beautiful desert of Southern Arizona. They love to hang out and be silly together. Their friendship has grown after they both joined an arts ministry at their church. Um, Ansel's Manos is a creative art ministry. We do puppets, we do shows, we do skits and stuff like that. Ansel's Manos is Spanish for In His Hands. It's an art ministry that uses performance to share the love of God. There is dancing, acting, and music.
My favorite thing about performing is probably looking, like, um, at the end looking at, like, all the kids all smiling and laughing and liking it. Sometimes performances are serious, and sometimes they're fun and silly. Regardless of being silly or not, one thing is true. Being a part of Ensus Manos has brought the entire team closer together. This puppet ministry helped us become better friends. And it's not just like me and her, like other people, a lot more. Basically the whole group. Our group, like before, like we were all friends, like we were chill, but now we're like, we're like really, really good friends. And like, we're always hanging out. We're always like laughing, making jokes. Jesus has used the ministry to bring the team together. This team of friends help each other to do the best they can to share God's love. My friends, like they helped me not be nervous because like they were doing, they were doing it too and they were nervous, but at the same time they, they supported us. I was with my friends and I knew a lot of people in, from church. So was it that, that scary anymore? Serving Jesus together has helped Lena and Renee become great friends, but they both know who the best friend is, God. He, he's like one of our like bestest friends ever. He is. <laughs> yeah. Renee and Alina know that God is an amazing friend. They've learned how to be better friends because of their friendship with God. Jesus helps me make friends. Um, like God knows that I'm doing like this whole ministry for Him. And so it just helped me like become better friends with people. So He helped me like be friends with a lot of people, but still like worship Him and praise Him. No matter how many friends we have, God is our best friend. God is our friend. Now I've got a piece of paper here. What do you think we could balance on this paper if I hold it like this and I put my hand right here so that it stands up straight? Do you think we could get anything to balance? Let's try. Okay, so we'll try pencil first because it's long like the paper and skinny. Oh, 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 that didn't work. Okay, what about unicorn? Oh, uni. Uni can do everything. Okay, let's give it a try. Come on, magical unicorn. Uh -huh. It's bending. Nope. Ooh, we've got scissors. Now what if we open them like this, very safely of course, and we try to hook it like this. <laughs> Ooh, that didn't work out very well. Our paper is not very supportive. But I have a way to make it much more supportive, the way a good friend is. So if you wanna do this craft with me, pause the video, go get a piece of paper and some tape, and then come back ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna take our paper and we're gonna roll it into a tube. There we go, like this. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And then we get our tape. You don't have to have unicorn tape, but if you did, that's awesome that you have unicorn tape too. All right. Okay, and then right here where the paper meets. Now, I also made another one earlier and I wrote on it, God is my friend because God is the very best friend I could have ever asked for. That's amazing! Now, why do you think that this paper was much better support after we rolled it up? Well, rolling up the paper made it stronger and able to support the weight of the objects. No matter what you are going through, God is strong enough to support you too. God 
has been the most faithful friend to me. Even in times when I have felt like I'm all alone and I've got nobody who understands, God always reminds me that he is there and that he loves to listen, especially in the times when I've messed up and I've sinned. God never leaves me and God will never leave you either. God is always there, ready to forgive us when we do something wrong, and he will pour out his love on us and help us heal from our bad decisions. There is nothing we could do to separate us from the love of God. God is a faithful friend. Now, maybe you don't always feel like other kids want to be your friend, and if those kids don't want to be your friend, well, why would God want to be your friend? Or maybe... There are other qualities that you notice about other people that make you not want to be their friend. We're going to make a list of qualities that maybe somebody would feel like, oh, if I have these qualities, people wouldn't want to be their friend. So let's say, for example, I thought that I was weird or I just felt weird all the time around people. What are some reasons that I might think that I'm weird. Hmm. Well, what if I had crazy hair? Like, what if my hair stuck out like this or like wrapped around my face like this? That would be really crazy and I might feel weird. What if I had to wear glasses and none of my other friends had glasses? If I had to wear braces, having braces is tough. Pimples, even when I was like in elementary school, I had lots and lots of pimples and that made me feel weird and it made me feel like nobody would want to be my friend. What if you are too tall or too short? Like you're too big for some of the things on the playground or you're too short to even reach some of the things or what if people tell you that you're too loud or overwhelming or what if people tell you that you're too quiet and you just need to talk more or what if like some of our friends you have ADD or you have ADHD Or what if even you have anxiety and worries? Man, those are things that can make us feel so different than everybody else. Like nobody understands what it's like to be in our skin and in our brain. And that can make us feel weird. Or what if we have a different skin color? What about our clothes? What if we dress different from somebody else? Or like we can't afford the same kinds of clothes that other people do. What if we just feel plain old dumb? Like school is super hard and we don't feel like we can think or do our homework like everybody else and it's just harder for us and we just feel weird. We just came up with reasons people might not want to be our friends, but we're learning that God is our friend. God is perfect and holy and amazing. So then why would God want to be our friend? Let's dig into that. Let's see what the Bible has to say about how God views us. Psalm 139, 13 through 14. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. God made you wonderful and marvelous. So let's cross out anything on our list about the way somebody looks. Oh, crazy hair, glasses, braces, pimples, tall and short, skin color, clothes. We might save that for another one. Wow, we like crossed out most of our list there. Let's read another one. Genesis 1, 27. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God made you in his image. That matters because God wanted people that he could connect with. 
and build relationship with. So he built you exactly the way he wanted you. So let's cross out anything on our list that has to do with the way God made us, such as abilities that we lack or personality traits. So too loud and quiet, doesn't matter to God. ADD, ADHD and anxiety, doesn't matter to God except for that he cares about the things that we care about. But God doesn't care if we're more busy than anybody else or God doesn't care sometimes our mind runs away with us. He still wants to be our friend. And dumb? None of us are dumb. God gives us just the right amount of smarts and he makes our brains work in all kinds of different ways. Maybe you think differently than your friend and they think differently than you. But that's what makes this world so wonderful and why we're all needed because we all are a little different. Let's read another one. Zephaniah 317. For the Lord your God is living among you. He is a mighty savior. He will delight in you with gladness. With his love, he will calm all your fears. He will rejoice over you with joyful songs. God delights in you and rejoices over you. And he helps you to not be afraid. That makes me feel loved and wanted and safe. So let's cross out anything on our list that has to do with not feeling likable or lovable. Like not having the right clothes or not being able to afford the right clothes. 1 John 4.16 tells us, God is love. Not just that God loves us or God has love for us, but literally God is love. God will always choose love. So even if there was anything left on our list at this point, we could cross it out now because love takes care of it all. And sometimes you may feel like the things that we wrote up here may make people not want to be your friend. But God made you just the way he wanted you, in his image, and he rejoices over you. He will always choose to love you. God is our friend, and nothing can change that. Listen to these next verses as a blessing over you. Romans 8, 38-39 I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death, nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today or our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. Nothing, nothing, nothing that we wrote up here can get in the way of God wanting to be our friend. Not only does God want to be our friend, but he is also the very best friend that we could ask for. And when we want to be a good friend, we can look to God's example. Earlier we filled up our friend over here, our shape, with lots of qualities about God and about a good friend. So let's thank God now in prayer for being our friend. God, you are our friend. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you that you are so good and gentle to us. God, thank you that you are encouraging. You speak truth and goodness into our lives never putting us down, but encouraging us and building us up. God, thank you that you help us to make the right choices. Every time when we call on you and we ask for help to make godly and wise choices, your Holy Spirit is there to help us. Lord, thank you for your love, for Jesus dying on the cross just for us. We feel so blessed to be the kids and the friends that you love. Thank you for being our friends. And thank you for helping us know how to love others better and to be a better friend to them. Please also help us to love you better and to be a good friend to you. In Jesus' name, amen.
see what's next. I want to face this world with wonder and excitement. Face every challenge every day. Ha, 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 ha.